Thymoid adenoma papillifum is a benign salivary gland tumour, usually affecting the minor salivary glands. They are rare tumours and comprise around 1% of all salivary gland tumours. The most frequent site is the hard palate. They arise at the junction of the salivary gland duct with the squamous mucosa. These tumours arise most frequently around the age of 60 and occur slightly more commonly in males than females. These tumours have a recurrence rate of around 15% and occasionally may undergo malignant transformation into tumours such as epithelial myoepithelial carcinoma and micropapillary carcinoma. Grossly they are papillary well circumscribed round or ovoid lesions that arise on the mucosal surface. Histologically, saladenoma papilliferum has two cell layers, a columnar or cuboidal layer and an outer basal cell layer. In addition, oncocytic and occasional goblet cells may be pre present. The tumour forms cleft-like cystic spaces and the stroma typically has a dense plasma cell infiltrate. The overlying stratified squamous epithelium is papillary, as the name implies, hyperplastic and acanthotic. Cyanodenoma papilliferum histologically resembles Warthin tumours and also syringocystadenoma papilliferum of the skin. Here is a low power image of a cyanodenoma papilliferum. It is well circumscribed and papillary. Here you can see the double cell layer with an outer layer of columnar epithelial cells and an inner layer of basal cells. And in the stroma there is a dense infiltrate of plasma cells. And this is the overlying stratified squamous epithelium that is hyperplastic, acanthotic and papillated. And finally, here are a couple more fields from this siladenoma papilliferum. And you can see the cleft-like cystic spaces typical of this tumour.